Hi, welcome back to Fast and Fresh. My name is Fran and today we have a request to cook spaghetti carbonara. A great family favourite, quick, easy, nice and cheap. So we're going to start off with our bacon. We have our pan nice and hot. We're going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil in there. Just get it nice and sizzling and then we're going to put our bacon in. Now the bacon I've chosen, I actually get it from Aldi, it's bacon chopped, so it's just like that. There's about six to a pack. You can get them nice and thick then. When you're doing your little bits to go into the pasta, you haven't got tiny little flaky bits of bacon. You've got some nice chopped up bacon. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to chop this into like matchstick and they're just that little bit chunky. So that's what I've done so far. And I just want to show you the shape of it before I chop the whole lot up. So in for our pan now, we're going to put our bacon. So we're going to put it in the go. You can hear that sizzling away. Now you want your bacon to get a little bit brown, a little bit, won't get too crispy because it's not a fatty bacon that I'm using, but it'll brown off and it'll be really nice. That's great, that'll be lovely. So I've got that cooking away. When this is cooking away then, I've got my garlic there to go in. So it's about three cloves of garlic. We're going to put that in towards the end because if I put it in now, it will brown off too quickly and will burn and become quite bitter in your pasta. So always leave your garlic a little bit to the end. And once I've got that done, I will then show you what else I've got going. We've had a pot of water cooking and I've cooked up my pasta prior to this so you're not sitting around for 15 minutes waiting for my pasta to cook. So the pasta's good to go, bacon's cooking away and we're going to put the garlic in. Now, yep. And we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I've taken the bacon out so that's nicely browned. Garlic's amongst that as well. Now I'll just pause here to say that this is not your traditional carbonara. A traditional one, I'm using, if you um, have read the recipe there that we've put up, we're using a bit of cream at the egg. Now traditionally you would save some water from your pasta and you would use water with your egg to form an emulsion and that gives you a much um, maybe healthier, I don't know, carbonara. So we've got our bacon out. What I've got here is I've got 150 ml of cream. I've added two eggs and one egg yolk. I'm going to beat that up. Just like that. I've thrown in a little bit of seasoning, just a little bit of salt and pepper. That's nicely beaten up. Into that, I'm going to put about two thirds of a cup of uh, finely grated parmesan. So this will just go into my egg mix, like so. And we'll beat that up as well. There we go. Just beat that up. And this is what we're going to pour into our pasta. Now what I'll do is I've got this pan still on. We put our pasta back into the pan and we heat our pasta through really well. So I've got my pasta here, which I'm going to take out of the colander. And I'm going to throw that pasta into the pan and start tossing it around. Move this color so I'm not blocking you there. So you really need to, this is the point where you heat the pasta up. The pasta, although it's still warm from the pot, and get all that nice bacon fat through it, a little bit of the flavour of the garlic as well, and you come really nicely. What you do then when you finish heating up your pasta is you turn your pan off. If you leave your pan on when you're putting your egg mix in, you get scrambled eggs and pasta. So the idea is to have your pasta nice and hot, and then just the residual heat of the pasta will cook the egg and make that lovely creamy sauce. As I said, I've added cream instead of water. If people like their carbonara really wet, they can also add a little bit of extra cream. Um, I don't like it too too runny, I don't want to take to a sauce. I'm going to add my garlic and my bacon back into that and stir it through. Stir it through, stir it through. And I'll put that out of the way as well. And I'm going to toss my parsley through that as well. So that's about 
have two tablespoons of Simon chopped parsley. Once again, compliments of Simon in our community garden. You can't get through to the mat. So we'll chop that through. Now we've got a lovely mixture there. Beautiful mixture there of our bacon, our parsley. Nicely heated up there. And I think we're almost good to go. This is the scary part. Will we have scrambled eggs or will we have pasta carbonara? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that off. I'll take that out. Put that over there. Make sure that's well beaten. What we do now is we will start stirring this in really quickly. And we will just make sure that it just turns into a lovely creamy sauce and not into scrambled eggs. As I said, if you feel tempted to turn your pan back on, don't. Unless you want a breakfast come dinner. Alrighty, look at that. Okay. And that is our pasta carbonara. What we're going to do is plate up one. So I'll use this plate that I had my bacon in rather than do any more washing up. Get about six serves out of this, I think. So this is this is a really, it's a very, very economical dinner. And might I also say that at some point in time, if you wanted to throw a handful of baby spinach in, you know, a cup of your cooked roast chook in the, uh, in, the in the fridge, you could stir all of that on as well and make it just that little bit more substantial. So I'll put that up there. We'll make sure we can see a bit of bacon on it. I'm going to wipe them around. Then I've got my lovely fresh parmesan. I'm going to grate a little bit on that. That is one, one good meal. So we'll put them in the front there so you can see it. And that is our pasta carbonara. Just hold him up there so you can see him. And that's a really hearty meal. Okay. Now what I was going to say is, well, at the end, if any of you would like to uh, put in, go on Facebook and give us a, a request for a meal that you would like cooked, put us a lot of souffle or something like that, we would love to show that on our show. Thank you. You have a really good evening.